Hey, hello everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back, playing some Marauders, a custom campaign for StarCraft II created by Acid Dragoon. So Marauders has chronologically ended with the X missions, which was Birth of a Legend. But he had mentioned that he may still make more missions, so this is map 25 that takes place before the Birth of a Legend duology. Central. Getting right into it. Okay. Diesel. Damn GPS. I think this is the place. Let's get off my back. Oh, I see the old abandoned pain train factory. The AI that used to run it should have a backup stored here somewhere. Sights this way. Oh. Hey, you're the boss. What a lousy first mission. Why do we need an AI anyway? Get off my back. Wow, I like the feel of this opening up. It kind of reminds me of the what mechanic. Just really dark, gloomy, eerie ambient music. Hey, That's cool. So the pain train was from Team Banff, the mission. I think it was like back in Mission 10 or something. Team Banff could load into the pain train. It was actually this big thing. So this is the factory. So Diesel must be working with the Marauders. I thought the Herks were with War Foundry. This may be one of the guys that they rescued on that ice planet from a couple maps ago. Or maybe that was just last map. I don't, I don't remember. There have been 25 maps, well, 27 maps technically of Marauders. That's really impressive. They've all been crazy good. This is neat, though. Ugh. <laughs> What's gonna happen? It's creepy. The pain trains are still on? Weird. Oh, hell. <laughs> that was cool. Bad pain train. Sheesh, that was terrifying. Okay, well, let's keep our finger on the G grapple hotkey here. <laughs> in case they keep doing that. Run! Run! Can we not? <laughs> so how are we going to get out of here is the question. <laughs> Alright, Diesel. Just run. Just run by it. Just run by it. Don't stop. So he can grapple anywhere on the ground. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. You can make it by them by just, by just running, but we should grapple just in case if the timing of it never really works out. Oh! Well, I guess we could grapple across that, but let's go this way just to see what's over here. Please don't turn around. There's nothing to see back here, buddy. Nothing to see back here. Okay. Let's see if we can grapple over this. It's pretty far. No, you can't. Okay. So this is the, this is the only way we could have gone. So we know that we know from Birth of a Legend that Central is its own faction. So I assume we're about to unlock something terrible. I'm just going over. I know that we could go up there, but I just want to explore a little bit this way. Oh, maybe we couldn't go up there. That maybe that was a dead end. Okay, yeah, this was the this was where they broke the the bridge. So I assume Central's gonna go rogue. It sort of it looked sort of like a Nova type faction where each individual unit was extremely powerful in low numbers. Is there another one down here? No, I think we're safe. Just waiting for something to crash down though and kill me instantly. Yeah, let's just get by these quickly. <laughs> yeah see there's a few different ways to go. Oh! God, I hear the alarm of them about to do something, and it scares me, because I'm like, it's not right on top of me, is it? I assume that would just be instant death. Nope, just, just, no, just don't. We could always go back the other way to get up there. Okay. <laughs> Why me? Yeah, let's just get... Okay, can't go that way. Just grapple past this one. We're at the edge. Uh-oh. Hopefully we're not trapped here. No, it looks like we can go up here. Okay, this hopefully is the way out. One thing I assume is that, yeah, the gaps that they're making here, maybe you could grapple over that distance. So in case they all got broken, you have to figure your way out. I've never been more thankful for solid ground. New section of the map. 
Quick save. That was creepy. <laughs> it's just like a broken adjutant. It's really cool to see a creepy map in StarCraft. Again, it kind of reminds me of the mechanic, which was more like Metroid Prime-ish. And Metroid Prime was meant to be kind of a creepy ambiance. But this is, this is totally different from that. But also really creepy. Huh. Big resource setup here. That's one big ass door. Hey squad, I don't think I can get through this solo. Understood. <laughs> I love it. I love the drop pods. Whoa, we got so many workers. All right, men, new plan. Bust down that door. Mecharotter, get mining. We need... Let's just make some auto-refineries. We don't know what's happening on the other side since we left, but it can't be good. Make sure you're ready before you blow it up. Okay, so what do we have here? Just got all sorts of stuff. This is good. I thought the Mecharotter could harvest resources faster. That's gotta be something else. I don't remember. Okay, well, we need some barracks. Do we have barracks? Yeah, okay, so they gave us some barracks. Oh, we can make anything. I mean, we obviously want some motivators because they can heal us. We don't need too many of those, though. They have really, really good... Really good healing rates. Mecha Rotter. See, I really thought that these could... could mine. Maybe there's something different. I don't remember. Anyway. What do we want to build here? Probably a lot of fire bats, because I do like me some fire bats. Spaztastics are really fun, and they're cheap, so let's do that. And I think maybe we get some more mecha rotters, because they are huge, and they stand in the front. Like, mecha rotters, big-ass marauders are both really good. And we need some of that front-line support. 45 damage. We could also set up a bunch of defense right by the door. So I think we'll do that as well, because we have so many... So many, well, they're MCUs. They used to be Swanites or something like that. So, remind me why why this place was abandoned again? The AI running it was an asshole. <laughs> oh, we obviously need a boom rocker. That's, there's no question there. That's it? Yep. Let's get a club. I think a club would be great, especially for busting this open. Okay, then. Increases movement and attack speed of nearby friendly units in a huge radius. So that'll be good for defense. I don't know if that counts for our punk blasters and all of our other defensive structures. Takes you down to Pound Town, baby. <laughs> and it plays Space Jam. The club always plays Space Jam. I love it. Okay, I do we need more MCUs? I don't know. We can get some more. It's fine. There's the club. Does it indicate, like, what the actual radius of it is? Like, all these units are affected. The club looks awesome. I very rarely make it, so... <laughs> this is my jam! <laughs> Just a guy dancing on it. It's fantastic. Okay, so I think... I think we should get some punk blasters, because they're relatively cheap, and we could just stack them in the front here. They shoot banelings. Yeah, that is a huge radius. It even affects our MCUs in the back. And we get some Devastators, and we'll get some Towers of Power. Might as well build up a nice defense here. Okay, my Punk Blasters are automatically attacking the gate. We need a Boom Rocker. It must happen. It's very expensive. We don't have enough supply. We need to get supply first, and then we're just going to sit and wait for some resources. How about that? Not enough minerals. Our Super Depots... 20 supply. Okay, so we need a couple of those. It's gonna take these a while to break through here. I think these can heal buildings as well. Yeah, nearby units and structures. Okay. 
We can always call down Pound Towns as well, because they build instantly. They just land randomly in the middle of nowhere. So, I don't think I was necessarily ready for this. So, maybe we, sh we shouldn't have built defensive structures. I didn't think that they would automatically start attacking. Can I tell them to stop? No. Spamming stop does not stop them. Uh, well then, in that case, yeah, I think we just make more Towers of Power, because the healing is fancy is always good. And then we need a Boom Rocker, which is a ton of resources. I think we just sit and wait, and we'll get enough here pretty soon. Hopefully before this gets destroyed. But the Marauder's defense structures are insanely good. Does this see- I don't think it affects the- no, it doesn't affect the Punk Blasters, or the Devastators. It might affect the Pound Towns, which may not actually be buildings, but units. I don't know. It depends on how the game considers them. Almost got enough for the Boom Rocker. But the door may be broken open. No, no, don't- don't get close to that. We need- we need the Boom Rocker, and we just want to make sure that we have the supply to get it. So let's just sit and wait. And we'll see what comes through this door. I had saved around when we started the macro section, so if I have to start it again without building the defense, I'm okay with that, but we could make multiple boom rockers as well. That would be insane. Do it. I live. <laughs> now with our extra money, we can start making more stuff. Robo rotters are really, really good. Sniper rotters can be good, depending on what we're up against. Doors down. Prepare to... Oh, here they come. Wait, what the hell is this? Unacceptable. Get in there, boys. Looks like some asshole's taking over the place. You know what to do. Look at these towers of power. They're so good. Okay, and we'll have to see... Well, we obviously need more units, but we'll have to... I think Robo Rodders, because they are so good at... Well, they can detect, but they're also really good at just attacking from far away and doing a boatload of damage. So I think... Big-ass Marauders, Mecha Rodders, and Robo Rodders is a good choice. I do like me some Fire Bats, but they're, uh... They're just gonna... They're gonna get roasted real fast. The Thumpers always confuse me. Just twice the price, twice the Marauder. It's just the same thing. I guess the difference is that it, uh... It can attack air. So I guess, in rea like, rather than making Marauders, you'd always want to make Thumpers, because they're slightly better, I think. You could always get another Boom Rocker, but, I mean, nah. <laughs> get a few extra Mecha Marauders to stand in the front. And then with our gas, let's grab some normal Marauders. And with our extra Minerals, we make Spastastic. So we have to get in there and just destroy this whole enemy base, which is going to be really, really tough. We do have motivators, though, right? So they can keep us healed up? Or did they die? Are they in here somewhere? I honestly don't know. Whoa, Robo Rotors. Robo Rotors have, uh... Oh, all of our Marauders have boom time. I forgot about that. Our spag our Spaztastics 2-2? Two -two? What the hell are those little things? What do we make? That's, the, again, we have... We, the world is our oyster. I think so. I mean, I really like Spaztastics, and just normal mar normal Marauders, and then I think big-ass Marauders. Lots and lots of big-ass Marauders you really can't go wrong with. What are these creepy little things on the ground? Let's get in here and clear this area out. Again, I think we're just unleashing Central, who's gonna be a problem later. I really like the look of this, though. Nano. They have one HP. Maybe this is where the Fire Bats will come in handy. It's hard to say. Yeah, we need some heavier hitting stuff, that's for sure. Oh lordy. Boom Rocker, please save me. We lost like all of our stuff. Yeah, I think we need to pull back and rethink what units we're going to be making here. We need to kill this thing. It shoots. Ow, it just shoots. Hunter Seeker missiles. Alright, let's back up here, get healed up. Now, one thing that's clear, I think we just make big-ass Marauders. One thing that's that's pretty clear to me is that uh, Spaztastics, not going to be useful here. Simply not. 
So we're gonna sit around and wait for gas for a while. I may just make a cut because I, I, for now I feel like I'm mostly waiting for resources. We could also make multiple boom rockers. And there's plenty of gas inside these refineries. So I may... Like I had said, I, I may just wait. I may just build up a little bit and go for Macarauders, another Boom Rocker, and then Big Ass Marauders with some motivators behind them. But it's going to take me a while to just save up enough resources to do that. We got plenty of minerals, though. So, yeah, the Macarauders can, can soak up a lot of damage, and then we put some Robo Marauders behind all of that. Big Ass Marauders can attack air, so I think we get a few more of those and, just mo and then the motivators. And I think that they're sending other units to us as well. We could also bring in MCUs to just drop pound towns in front of, like, the planetary fortresses and such. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wait for enough gas to build a second boom rocker as well, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm starting to hit my jam now, so we're just getting a few extra units here. I'm getting big-ass marauders, mecha marauders. I've got two boom rockers. I don't have enough supply to get another one, though I probably could here pretty soon. I just got a nice mix of units here, and I think to, to flesh this out, we go Robo Rotters because of the amount of damage that they can do, as long as they stay in the back. But obviously, we lead with the Boom Rockers and the Mecha Rotters. We could build clubs on our way up as well. They keep sending individual units at us, so we have to be a little bit careful. All the initial units they we had, pretty much dead. Poor Marauders, they just get smoked. That's one thing that, that happens a lot in this campaign, is... You make these giant units. Everything, everything is overpowered. Nothing is overpowered when everything is overpowered. But the, everything's overpowered against each other. So, while we have the Boom Rockers, which are insane, uh, it's challenging, though, to handle these types of enemies that do that are, like, equivalent to our Boom Rockers. Every, t every time we come up against a new unit, it's equivalent to a Boom Rocker, which is crazy. So let's just flesh out our supply with some extra normal Marauders. See, they've been killing our Mecha Rotters super quick. I think we gotta get in there. So let's quick save now, because we've got a nice army. Let's move on up. The double... Got some Orma Rotters in here, and just the double Boom Rockers. So let's stim. Peace. <laughs> I love the look of these enemy units, too. They're really neat looking. We have to find out where they're coming from. That's kind of the key here. And then with our, we, just, we just rally up normal Marauders constantly. These stupid little things. That's what the armor rotters, I think, are good for here. I don't know if a lot of these units are pre-placed or what. Maybe a few more mecha rotters. Wow, this is an oddly high-tech place for an abandoned factory. Not a single trace of pain train assembly left. Alright, let's let our motivators heal us up and get a few more for that matter. Insufficient Vespine gas. Okay, where's most of our supply? I guess because we have a lot of big-ass marauders. All right, well, let's see if we can go this way. Or let's let's finish healing up here. How about that? How many motivators do we even have? Only two. See, they're going to continue attacking us, so we have to cut them off from their source. Or also build more defense. So to do that, I think... How much are pound towns? It's expensive on gas. We don't have a lot of space. Let's just do devastator turrets. And then a few more punk blasters. Let's not wall ourselves in as well. These little nanobots, they, they do some decent damage and some of our units don't shoot fast enough. See, we lost a big chunk of our supply just by holding off that attack. So I guess we're going down here. They have these hellbats that come in with shields. Steel wall. Alright. Back up, Marauder. Get healed up, buddy. See, it looks like they're coming from this direction, so let's stop them from getting to us. It's like a giant stream of these nanobots. I think they're doing the most damage to us, actually. Firebats, actually, you know, would be really good are roasters against that. So let's make a small group of them. Spastastics also. So th there's, there is a usage for all of our stuff here. Our boom rockers tank in this, uh, this megalith. Well, both of our boom rockers for that matter. Okay, let's move on in here. I don't know what was up here. We might want to go up there separately. Nice. Boom Rocker, do it. Yeah, heal us up. These motivators can just heal 30, 30 per second. is crazy. Okay, and I think our defense is okay. 
Did they get by us? Hang on, see, let's see how the roast. Yeah, see, the roasters are really good against these. That that works, because they do the AoE, so let's get a few more. The fire bats, not so much, because they have to be in melee range. These don't. Okay, let's go. If the roasters had slightly higher range, that would work better. Nice, yeah, get rid of those nanobots. We're pushing in. I might, if I could make another boom rocker, that would be, I mean, the boom rockers seem like the right, the right choice here. More big ass marauders though, also a decent choice. And we need the roasters for the, uh, the nanobots. Our poor motivators keep dying as well. Sniper rotters would be good against those little things. The armor rotters also. I don't know, there's a lot of choices for us. Let's just, let's just quick save and keep going. The double boom rocker, you can't say no to, that's for sure. This might all connect, it looks like. Our units aren't stuck, are they? No. We could bring up our uh, MCUs as well to heal our boom rockers. I like how these things are just called peace. They're just giant Vikings blasting away. All right, let's hang out and let our motivators heal us up in between each fight. Okay, our, our big-ass marauders can get to us. That's good. These things! These things! Where are they coming from? And they trap us in! No! I thought I killed these. Wow, we lost the big-ass marauder to them. Alright, let's back up here. I think we just need to leave some roasters here, or we, we build some defense further up. Where are those spawning from? Okay, everybody move up. That's fine, there's like virtually unlimited money on this map. Yeah, there's there's plenty of cash, so... What next? Do we have roasters up here? We have one, so we yeah, we need a few more of these, so let's queue those up. And I think, I think the big ass marauders, man. I'm, we just, as long as we have the AOE to kill those stupid nanobots. See, here's another group. Where are these coming from? It's driving me crazy. Finally, we found a use, a good use for the roasters though. That's for sure. You no, know we could do is just move our, move our, our barracks up. I think we do that. So let's. There we go. So as long as things don't get stuck as they're spawning out of these, that's better. And our MCUs are here. I, well, I can't make another boom rocker. Marauders. Just normal marauders. That's fine. And let's keep going. Let the boom rocker get in the front. It can tank those little nanobots pretty well, too. Alright, we're coming for you, Central. And by that, I mean we're inevitably going to let you out of this area where you are currently so that you can start killing us. These strayers are rough, because they keep shooting... They just keep shooting, um, hunter-seeker missiles. It's crazy. There we go. Okay, and then roasters, you're up. This is all you. And then... More big-ass marauders, because a lot of ours have died. Yes, okay, good work, roasters. Haha! -ha. This is the first mission where I've been like, yes, the roasters, they're doing it. Sovereign. It picks individual spots and just blasts at them, okay. Yeah, big ass marauders for sure. And I guess thumpers because they can attack air. Sovereign's just about done. We have not lost a boom rocker. Haha! -ha. And I think motivators, because our motivators keep dying. They must draw extra aggression. I don't know. There's another pain train. What if we have to fight pain trains? That would scare me. Should we move these up? Let's wait for them to spit out whatever they're building and then we can move them up. Yeah, these things keep coming to us, but our, our punk blasters, I think because they shoot banelings, they do that AoE, so it's pretty good. More roasters. The roasters have been really good, let me tell you. I don't even know why motivators have energy when it doesn't actually cost them energy to heal. <laughs> I think maybe even three three boom rockers would be awesome here, but this is creepy. <laughs> what are these little flying SCVs doing? This is awesome. It just looks awesome. You cannot stand up to the boom rocker. All right, get out of here. 
Yeah, see the because the the uh, the motivators have an attack, so when you auto attack with them, they end up attacking rather than healing in the back. So they don't really function like medics like you would expect. Okay, let's kill this thing before it shoots more missiles. Okay, so I think I have an understanding of how central works. So I think I think I'm doing I think I'm doing better now. Let's just check over here if maybe this door will open if we open it from behind. Oh Jesus! They're attacking us with a with a strayer. Can we even hit it? We can hit it, but it's gonna it's gonna be a slow. Okay, we got it. We're okay. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Is that my boom rocker that's low? No, it's fine. Okay, this door is open now, so we can't allow them to attack us through here. So we have to cut them off up in this direction. We can move our barracks up. I like how wherever buildings land, it just like has cracked earth there forever. Okay, now what? What are we short on? I think, yeah, I think our motivators, they keep dying. We absolutely need those. Roasters and big-ass marauders, and then armor, and then robo-rotters if we can afford them. That's, I think that's it. Our marauders are cheap. We can get those. Those will stand in the front and soak up some hits, so. Let's just wait for a brief moment while we get our motivators out, and then we can build up some towers of power as well. See, they're actually gaining energy to heal up our units. The healing rate is insane. I guess we can make some tower- yeah, we could make some defense up here as well to ensure that nothing gets back to our main base, but that doesn't really matter right now. Still plenty of gas, so we just have to sit and wait for resources more than anything else. If there were even more geysers that you could discover as you move through this map, that would be nice. Because this is, is very much attrition. A lot of, I mean, a lot of the Marauders maps are attrition. But it's just messing around with all the weird stuff that you can build. Okay, we're moving into what seems like the final area, so let's quick save. And let's bring our MCUs as well, because why not? And we can always drop some Pound Towns in the middle of the arena. This area is highly suspicious. Spoke too soon. Get out, get out! See, this is why I was saying, like, just, you could drop these in there instant. Jeez, calm down, lady. Could you guys please get her out of here? I can't take it anymore. Oh, hey, it's the AI. Central Avatar. That's Hollow Rotter to you. Uploading to, to, to closest node. Finally, I've been trying to get rid of her for ages. Life's tough when you don't have a physical form and everybody abandons you without warning. <laughs> so I guess Hollow Rotter was the asshole AI that they abandoned, but Central was like a different part of her of him. So you owe me big time. Why does everyone around here gotta be an asshole? Oh no, don't get him started. Asshole? I'm surrounded by assholes. How would you like to deal with a raving lunatic AI that somehow builds a massive advanced factory on top of you? Then the people that abandoned you come back as if after all these years. <laughs> He's still going. He's still... <laughs> you have no idea what the hell I've been through. Barely keeping myself alive with the decaying remains of this garbage heap. They could have at least given me some form of autonomy, but no. Something about Skynet? I should have had you all build me a new server room built entirely out of badassium. <laughs> Work your way out of your assholishness. To top it off, you failures didn't even destroy that AI. You let it leave. <laughs> he just keeps going. I'm not even sure how it managed to do that. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Whoever made it gave it the ability to use physical forms. Hint, hint. Give me one. Did you all abandon me again? We're still here. Don't get your knickers in a bunch. Good, because I've got loads more to... <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Okay. End game. We're done. <laughs> oh boy. That kicked me back to the the main menu, but another classic Marauders 
Cl another classic Marauders map. Just real goofy. Just feels like we're going back to back to our roots here, where in the last in the last in the birth of a legend, it was super depressing and everyone gets murdered, everyone bands together. But it's sort of fleshing out central. She was an autonomous AI. She was able to escape. So maybe we'll be able to use her because her tech tree seems really, really interesting. And I like the idea of making these ultra powerful individual units. That would be neat. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.